guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing. As always, I just wanted to say I appreciate every single one of you guys that have stuck through this journey with me, guys. I've been on YouTube for a year now, and I just, I'm just so appreciative of all my bad bitches that have been here since the start. As you've seen by today's thumbnail, we are going to be doing the last to speak challenge. I've done this video seven months ago. Whoa. And I, and I wore a hat that same video too, that's so trippy. But um, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to get a couple contenders and they are going to do a couple of challenges. And if they lose those challenges, I'm gonna give them punishments so they can speak. So basically today I'm gonna just try to get these people to speak. And the last person who speaks throughout this whole video is going to be winning a hundred dollars, yeah. And I remember I used to always do this in every video, the evil laugh. <laughs> Oh my god, that felt so good. Something's tingling. Right now, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree because I need to go pick up some stuff for the challenges. And then we're gonna go pick up the contenders. And then we're gonna come back here, do some challenges. Then we're gonna go to the store. And then we're gonna go out to eat at like John's Incredible Pizza. If y'all know what that is, it's like a buffet with an arcade. Cause you know, I wanna get the kids to also have fun. So let's go. But first, let me show you my outfit. This is the outfit. I got this Los Angeles crew neck. I got these black little sweats. I I got my black Crocs. Somebody take these black Crocs away from me because I've been wearing these damn things every single day. And then I got my Michael Kors purse. All right, let's go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, oh my God. Let's see what they got in here. Oh Lord. I'm gonna need a fucking basket for this bitch. They got the Christmas shit out right now. Bruh, it's too early for Christmas, but this is so cute. So I'm in the freaking party section over here and I found the balloons for one of the challenges. I'm gonna get like a variety balloons because you know, we love different colors. I honestly didn't think through all the challenges so I'm just freaking putting hella random shit in my car and then just hoping a good challenge comes out of it. This is what I have and then I threw in some junk food because you know me, I'm a little, a little sweet tooth. Okay, so I collected the goods for the challenges and I just came up to pick up two contenders right now. Sophie, Angie, what's up guys? Why is my camera like that? What's up guys? Did you guys uh, bring extra clothes? Yes. Okay, Bye. good. Are you guys ready for this challenge? Yes. yes. We picked up the boys. We got Benjamin Franklin and Ezrito. They're also gonna be in today's challenge, guys. We just got to the house and Chola Boy and Emo Girl and Sassy Cassie are here, so let's get to the challenges. We came back and Emo Girl and Cholo Boy are both knocked out. They need to be ready for these challenges. No beauty sleep in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, family. What the <laughs> hell? I have all the contenders that are gonna play the Don't Speak Challenge, guys. So starting right now, you cannot speak. If you speak, you lose, you get disqualified. I'm gonna explain to them a little bit. So we're gonna play some challenges, and if you lose those challenges, then you will get punishments. So in those punishments, if you scream, talk, do anything, you are out. And the last person to speak wins a hundred dollars. Nobody looks happy to do this. What what's going on with this generation, guys? A hundred dollars is a lot of money. All right, we're gonna start our first challenge, guys. And it has to do with balloons. I don't know if you guys remember, last year we did the same challenge. There is strings that are gonna be tied to their ankles and they're gonna pop each other's. And you know, the last person that's with the balloon is safe, but all the other people are gonna have to get punished. Choose your favorite color. Guys, I was tying freaking Ezra's thing and Benjamin talked, Benjamin! I didn't even get that in the clip. What did you say, Benji? He was like, these chairs are unstable or something like that. Benji, I'm so sorry, bro. You were disqualified from the not speaking challenge. He freaking talked before anybody else. Benji, you're out. You can finally speak now. Speak. That was quick. <laughs> that was very quick, guys, but he is out of the challenge now. But if you want to play this challenge, um, maybe he could. Maybe he could. I think I, could, I should give him a little chance to. Go! Stomp on him. Stomp on him. Oh. Oh, shit. Let's see who loses this challenge, guys. Let's see who loses. Benjamin's the only one that's actually playing, but he can speak now, but nobody else can. Come on, Benji. Come on, Ezra. Ooh. My God. Ooh. Oh, her balloon. Any of them should have brought, put these lemon pepper steppers on. They would have popped them all. Hey, hey, you can't leave the circle. Where are you going? Right Stay in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Ezra, you spoke. Ezra is disqualified from last this week challenge. Everybody's popping balloons, and Sophie has a balloon phobia. Look at her in the corner, just dying. Bring out the cotton balls. 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 Out the cotton balls. <laughs> oh my God. Like that one lady. Oh, they popped emo girl's balloon. Emo girl, you are out of this challenge. You're gonna get a punishment. Take care of it. Angie, take care of it. Oh, oh, Angie is gonna be punished. Angie's out of this challenge. She's getting punished. Now two are left. Oh, damn. Yeah. I need ah. to know. Oh, Cholo boy spoke. He said, "Are oh, you good to his little brother? That's so sweet of you to care about your little brother." But you are lo you lost this challenge. You are disqualified from the last speak challenge. So as you've seen, three of the boys spoke, so they are disqualified from the challenge. So they don't get a punishment because they're already out. And I have emo girl, Angie, and Sophie that are still in, but they they freaking lost the challenge, so they're gonna get punished. So we're gonna do an ice cup. We're not doing an ice bucket. So we're just gonna fill up a cup of ice for each. And we're gonna pour it on their head. You wanna help me out? He's I have my little helper here. He's gonna scoop some ice for us. This ice looks busting. Let me try some. Oh, that's good. Now we're gonna fill it up with water. Hey. All the way. To eat it? To drink it? No, it's gonna go on their heads. We were about to go outside and punish these girls, but look at how cute. Guys, Cholo Boy is cuddling with Nina. Look at Nina. Why are you cuddling up on Cholo Boy like that? All the girls in the comments are not gonna like this. Look at, look at her. Let's go outside, guys. I don't know if you guys remember out here, guys. We haven't done the summer videos anymore. But look at the pool still here. We still got the fucking skinwalker. Skinwalker! Oh, shit, he no, he's a skinwalker! Bend down so Ezra could do the honors, all right? This is punishment ice bucket challenge. <gasps> oh, my gosh. How are you not react? Hey! <laughs> oh, my gosh. How are you not reacting right now? Bro, she got that shit. She look like she wear her pants. Number two. Ooh. That one went straight to her back. Angie, you're not budging. Sophie, here are the cotton balls. Ooh. <laughs> Let's just talk. So all three of them passed the punishments, guys. So I have another challenge for them. Time for the second challenge, guys. So you guys know we only have three contenders left. And I think, you know, us women, we're creative. I mean, the men too, or the men too. But I feel like the women are a little bit more creative. So I'm going to pass out a little canvas to all three girls. So go ahead, go ahead, grab a canvas, girls. And then I got some little paintbrushes right here. This is going to be a timed painting project. There's only two colors. So let's see how creative they could get. I want you guys all three to paint a sun. The most beautiful sun I've ever seen in the sky. So that's what they're going to be doing. And they're going to have one minute to do it. Three, two, one, start. They have one minute. The time started. Let's see who can make the most beautiful sun. Let's see. Let's see. She already splattered that bitch everywhere. <laughs> let's see over here. She's turning some red. She put some poo-poo. That looks like baby shit. Oh, shh. Don't listen to that. I didn't mean to cuss. 27 seconds. Okay. She's getting a little creative. With, I don't know what that even fucking is. Let's see over here. Okay, okay. 18 seconds. Oh, this girl looks like she just... Oh, still baby poop over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Paintbrushes up. Okay. What the fuck? He's gonna help me be the judge. Which one is your favorite? Mm. That one? Okay. I was gonna say the same. So, Sophie, you are safe in this challenge. For the second punishment, I thought, mm, I threw ice on them. Let me be a little nicer this time. So, I told them, lay up on the floor on your backs. And I'm going to be doing the tickle challenge. Let's see if she tickles. Okay. 30 seconds of tickling. Starting now. Damn, they swim like little fucking fishes over here. All right, right. Chill, chill. All right, they both passed. Third challenge is going to be the popping balloon challenge. We're going to pop one balloon next to each of their ears. Whoever budges and screams is going to be disqualified. So let's see. Sophie is nodding no. She does not want to do this one. But you're going to have to speak if you don't want to come out in this challenge. Oh, my God, Sophie. Come on. A for effort. Get in here. Come on. Look, she begging like a dog. Get up there. Show them what you're worth. 
Give her some words of inspiration, Ezra. Tell her. Hey, chill. Sophie, it's that bad? Sophie, you're the cotton ball lady? Sophie, you're the cotton ball lady in a balloon version? Is that bad? Why didn't you tell me about this earlier about your sister? You knew about this too? I didn't even get that. I didn't even get that, bro. She talked. What'd you say? Nah, you're funny. No, Guys, she talked. I Guys, she is the cotton ball lady. <laughs> She's the only one here that knows the meme. They all don't know. But Sophie is out of the challenge, guys. I told her she should just do 50% of what her sister wins if her sister wins. She agreed. All right, with these two, we're going to give them punishment still. I, I said no. She can have all the money. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, no. No. Oh. I don't want to get money. Fight, fight. F oh, sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, no reaction. That's so weak. That was weak. All right, now Angie's turn. Now Angie's turn. Come on. Oh, damn! Did you break her back? I stabbed you. <gasps> Are you serious? Are you okay? Don't tell my lawyers about. Don't tell your lawyers about this, please. Don't sue us. This company. We have no money. So they both still in. We're gonna do one last challenge, guys, and then we're gonna see who wins. Okay, so challenge number three is gonna be a luck challenge. So I have this whoopee cushion right here, and I have two exact chairs right here. I put a pillow. I don't know if you guys can see. I put a pillow and a freaking towel on top. That way they can't tell which one has a whoopee cushion under. And whichever chair they choose, and they sit down. If they have the whoopee cushion, then they're out of this challenge and if they don't then they're the winner of the hundred dollar the hundred dollar prize the last two contenders and the last challenge there's two chairs girls you guys both have to compromise and choose what chair do you want to sit on that one okay and you sit on that one when you sit down sit hard everybody be quiet okay we need to hear sit hard three two one sit hard check under the pillow whoever has the whoopee cushion is disqualified Oh, emo girl is disqualified from the last to speak challenge. Emo girl, how do you feel that you lost that challenge? It was just pure luck, though. <gasps> Damn. Hey. And the winner of the last to speak challenge goes to Angie. <laughs> Woo! Do a little dance. Eh, 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 eh. <gasps> oh, she's trying to give her cuts. Good, you could, girl. You could talk now. You won. Yay. Oh. Now you're out. No, just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Now she's on. Oh, that's so sweet of Angie. She's trying to give you half of the money, Berna. You guys made a deal? You guys are little scammers. <gasps> and you take the money? You're evil. This is her first challenge, Berna. It's okay. It's okay. You are evil, bruh. <gasps> oh, wow. She's giving the money back. Did I just make you feel bad? Hey, hey did I just make you feel bad? Oh, shit. Now that the challenge is finally over, over like 30 million years, we finally have a winner, and that's Angie. Comment down below, did y'all think it was going to be Angie, or, or who, who are you guys rooting for? Well, anyways, now that we got this challenge over, guys, I'm going to take everybody to a place called John's Incredible Pizza. Do you like it there? Do you like it there? Do you like it there? You scream? Yes! Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So there they have like a buffet and they have arcade games. So right now we're gonna get everybody ready and we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna go. So let's go. All the kids are loaded inside my mom's big ass whip. Look, we got sections and then there's some in the back back there you can't see. We just arrived to John's Incredible, guys. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see. John's Incredible. I used to love coming here as a kid. Aw, Benjamin, you little sweetheart. You look chilly. Get in here. Come on. Let's go, guys. We walked into the buffet. Emo girl over here. She got some mashies and some fucking dry ass noodles. And then freaking Sophie got some mashies. Cholo boy over here with some damn pizza. I don't know what to get first, guys. I think I'm gonna go for the pizza over here. Oh my God, they know I love my jalapeno pizza. Benjamin is fancy with it. He's getting that chicken Alfredo. Okay, Benjamin. Cholo boy and me love getting the freaking baked potatoes. Look at him. Damn, he getting, he getting fancy with it or whatever. So we're all sitting at the table now. We all got our food and we're grubbing. What did you get, Cholo boy? I got the salad, pizza, uh, baked potato, bread, rice. All right, bro, you telling the whole story. Damn, bro, I just want to know what you got. What did you get, Angie? Angie, she's little, she's simple with it. She just mixed all her shit together. I mean, go off. Yeah, Ezra, what did you get? 
Guys, we got salad, pizza, mashed potatoes, and then Benjamin is fancy with it. He got the little noodles on the side. Okay, Benjamin. Chicken nuggets. Okay, okay. And then he got hot cocoa, bro. I've never seen anyone get hot cocoa in my life. What did you get? Pizza. Hers looks like a little kid dish. Anyways, back to me. So I got what I always get when I come here. I got a salad, baked potato, mac Ay! macaroni and cheese, pizza, breadstick. What did you get? Damn, um, beat you hungry as fuck. You done cleared. Oh, she done oh, licked the whole plate my down. Corn. Uh huh. Okay. She grubbing. Salad. She really grubbing. We destroyed all our plates of food. I think we're all done eating now, and we got some dessert. Benjamin made his look so fancy. Yeah. And then everybody's eating some ice cream. This girl over here needs to fart. Ugh. I got my chocolate ice cream. Mm, so good. Anyways, guys, right now, once we're done eating this, we're gonna go to the arcade and we're gonna play some games. We want to get on the goat cart, so that's what we're going to do. Um, um, so. Bumper cars. Oh my god, they're all correcting me. Bumper cars, bumper cars. Bumper cars. So, let's go to the arcade. Walking into the arcade with my 20,000 million children. I need a raise. Ooh, this is so cool. We decided we want to get on the bumper cars right here. All of us. I'm going to bump into all these kids and crush the shit out of them. Let's see if Ezra's tall enough to ride the ride. Uh, Get on your tippy toes. Get on your tippy toes. Oh yeah, he's good. He's good. Oh my god, everybody's claiming their fucking ones. What the hell? Where do I go? I'm gonna get a red one. Y'all already know I'm in a red whip. Now I'm saying like my car. All of them are over there. We're about to, I think other kids are playing too. Sophie, don't hit me. Look at Ezra, how cute he looks. Hey, why are these people hitting me? Benjamin. Do circles, do circles. Do circles. Hey, hey, this girl again. Oh my god, do circles, do circles. Two circles. Around the world, around the world. Ezra, oh, he's hitting me. Ezra's playing this Batman game and look, he can't even fucking reach the pedal. Look at how this guy's driving. I do not trust this guy on the road. Look at him, he's crashing and everything. Who's driving his bus? And then they're over there, what the fuck is going on? Benji just won candy from this machine. What did you win? Damn, you won all that? Now we're playing this freaking motorcycle game. Now the kids are playing Hungry Hippos. God damn! This girl hungry as fuck. Why is she going crazy like that? We played a good amount of games and we're about to leave now, but the kids wanted to do one more ride and they're playing the fucking Twister. Oh hell no, they're getting dizzy in that bitch. All right guys, so we left John's Incredible Pizza and it's like 9.30 p.m. right now and I'm going to drop off all the kids because they got school in the morning. Whoa, what the hell is that guy doing over there? Oh, he broke an ankle. So right now is a good time to end up the vlog. I just want to thank you guys. Why is she running to the car like that? I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so freaking much. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, Bye guys.